Are you serious? Are you serious? Kim Jong Boom! Kim Jong Boom! Kim Jong Soon! Kim Jong Hoom! Kim Jong Woo! What is he doing? All right, guys, we have breaking news coming out of Seoul, South Korea. Um, according to Reuters, North Korea said on Sunday that it has developed a more advanced uh, nuclear weapon that, that has great destructive power. And they've even taken pictures of the, their leader, the little dictator, Kim Jong-un, inspecting this hydrogen bomb that will be loaded on a new intercontinental ballistic missile. Now, the report by North Korea's official KCNA news agency comes amid heightened regional tension following North Korea's test launch of two intercontinental ballistic class missiles in July that potentially had a range of about 10,000 kilometers or 6,200 miles. That could hit any part of mainland United States. Now, under their leader, Kim Jong-un, North Korea has pursued work on building nuclear weapons and long-range ballistic missiles with the help of the Chinese and the Iranians, uh, at least those two nations, if not the Russians, but certainly China and uh, Iran. Um, they've been working on these long-range ballistic missiles, and they can deliver them at an unprecedented pace, defying UN sanctions and international pressure. Now, experts and officials have said that North Korea could conduct its sixth nuclear test at any time, and that the reclusive country has maintained a readiness at its nuclear test site to conduct another detonation test at any time. Matter of fact, the hydrogen bomb Power is adjustable to hundreds of kilotons and can be detonated at high altitudes. With its uh, ability, they've put in it components allowing the, the country to build as many nuclear weapons as it wants. And Kim Jong-un visited the country's Nuclear Weapons Institute and watched a hydrogen bomb to be loaded into the new ICBM missile and all components of the hydrogen bomb were homemade and all the processes. So they did it all in-house. They can build their own bombs. Somebody's supplying them with, the, uh, with all the components, but they can do it. Now, uh, the question's going to be, what's going on here? Is this, I'm just going to say this. I feel that China is baiting the United States. They're using North Korea. Somebody's got the EMP technology and crippled the USS Fitzgerald and then rammed it, killing seven of our sailors, and then used the EMP to cripple the USS John McCain and then rammed it, killing 10 more of our sailors. Now, we've got hel uh, Black Hawk helicopters falling out of the sky everywhere, and we, we had four ships that had the ability to shoot down one of these intercontinental ballistic missiles now we only have two because Fitzgerald and the John McCain is sidelined. So now we only have two left. It's as if China and then, and then North Korea fired that missile over top of Japan and nobody shot it down. Nobody shot it down. It went 1,677 miles. Folks, it, they're baiting us. Now they're showing us this bomb. I put it in the thumbnail. They can load the payload onto a new missile. The missile's already been launched and proven it will go. So look, I mean, say what you want to. I mean, they can't beat us in a nuclear war unless China has, has, has gotten to the point that they can cripple by using EMP attacks, our military. I don't think so, but I, I'm starting to wonder what is the motive here? What's the motive here? China's behind it. China's behind it. China's behind it. Now, I wrote a book called Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D. And in this book, which it's a, it's a novel, but it was based on current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy and with an end-time apocalyptic scenario. 
And in the book, I wrote because I felt led of the Lord. I truly felt led of the Lord that it would be Chinese soldiers that would be sent in and would be the ones that would monitor the United States, enforcing the uh, law of the new world order uh, of the Antichrist, that they would use Chinese soldiers, okay? So um, every time I see how they're buying up all the land, buying up all our meat, getting it, building these islands out in the Pacific, uh, Obama just sat there and did nothing uh, and, and let our military especially our Navy ships, did not retrofit any of them for eight years. I mean, I'm telling you, folks, then we have the Arab Spring and the chaos and Israel surrounded. There's just so many things. And President Trump is trying his best, but man, you just can't turn the Titanic around on a dime. There's so many uh, snakes in the water and there's so many gators in the swamp and there's so many, the deep state is what I'm trying to tell you. They're so locked into Washington. Oh my, this, this global elitist the new world order, the biblical beast in the Bible, the seven-headed monster with 10 horns and crowns in the name of blasphemy on their heads, speaking lies. And then the media. So anyway, that's where we're at. Pray one for another. Pray for our men and women in uniform on the front lines. And guys, I'm not just speaking about this and the U.S. This affects all of Europe. This affects the free world is what I'm trying to say. It affects us all. Are you saved? Now look, the Lord hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but love and power and a sound mind. And the body of Christ is not afraid. Not afraid. We're not afraid. Those of us that are uh, capable to understand biblical prophecy and are willing to even read it, you know, we don't walk around in fear. We're not the children of the night, but the children of the light, okay? Now, we are meek, but we're not weak. And so Jesus told us to be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. So we are watching what's going on. I'm a watchman. Some say I'm the original watchman when I'm the first one that ever came on YouTube to started uh, talking about current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy and pulling people together. Now others have joined. But I can tell you, as a watchman sitting on the wall, I can see a sword coming, and I must warn you. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days.